hello guys uh, welcome back once again to this youtube channel you know uh the our federal government and bola metinibu has really really embarrassed nigeria as a country i can boldly tell you for free i'm going to tell you what happened in qatar and why qatar has to ha 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 to reject and chase away tinibu's application and, and, and request for invitation for for, for visit and everything you know when we are talking about it that the other nations are watching nigeria other nations are watching how we conducted our election they are watching the rascality in our judiciary they are watching every single thing that the, the so-called uh, leadership in the country is actually doing and they are going to work on the basis of what they saw or what they've seen so far you know Anthony and apc thought we were praying we are playing or joking and now qatar has said we are not going to allow you to come to our country because of so i'm going to show you the reason why they decided to be applied imagine we are a, the so-called president of the giant of africa said i want to visit your country the Qatar said no we don't want you because of this and this and because of so so, so reason, reasons i'm going to show you the reason and it's very laughable and it's very very funny and this boils down to, to to tell you that our country is no longer regarded in the international community our country is no longer regarded in the international community in fact it, there's no need for Bala Metinibu to, 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 to continue traveling from one place to another because what has the travel or the ones that he traveled actually benefited us? Some of them he was actually sleeping in some of the uh, places, uh, in, in some of the visits. Some of the visits we don't even know the, the resorts so now. The one that went to UAE, they came back and lied that the UAE, UAE the United Arab Emirates have actually lifted the ban on the, uh, the, uh, the on, or the, uh, they gave to Nigerians and all that. At the end of the day, it turned out that it was lie. The Dubai, uh, Dubai did not lift any ban. Meanwhile, they went to Dubai, uh, the, uh, and, uh, the climate COP24, uh, or the 23, being the climate uh, change uh, event, and you know, ca carried more than 1,000 something delegates. In fact, more than most of the in, uh, developed nations who have in the country. Most of those travels are just a fizzy. They just want to go to, they, they just want to go there to flex, have fun, meet their loved ones, do shopping, and snap pictures, and come back. And remember, they are doing these things not with their own money, they are doing this thing with taxpayers' money. And now, uh, Qatar had to reject. The so-called president of the uh, uh, giant of africa it's an embarrassing something this has never happened i don't think this has ever happened in the history of the nation that they had to even release a statement to tell you why we rejected you and they, i'm going to show you the reason which is very very funny and very very uh, sad let me show you the reason so let me just read that side for you guys to un actually understand that our nation must, must have lost its respect and reputation in the international eyes and in the international community i can boldly tell this for free they said um you could this is a letter that the UAE sent across while rejecting Tinibu's plea to come and visit them because Tinibu was the one that sent the application. Please let me come to your country. Look at what they told the government. They said, the embassy of the state of Qatar in Abuja presents in compliments to the protocol department of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Regarding the upcoming state visit of His Excellency Bolami Tinibu, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to Qatar, Qatar from 2nd, 3rd March 2024 and with reference to your note so they gave the reference note and uh, dated 12 uh february 2024 when they wrote uh, this application and the request from qatar they said which proposed holding uh, holding of a business and investment forum bif on the uh, margins of mr president's visit uh to qatar on 22nd march 2024 they said the embassy has the honor to inform that the ministry of commerce and industry in qatar apologizes that it will not be able to hold a business and investment forum as proposed by nigerian side so qatar said these are the following reasons why they rejected the balame tinibu's request to come to their country they said the number one is unfortunately there is no agreement signed between the state of qatar and the federal republic of nigeria on investment promotion and protection you could imagine you could imagine that there is no single agreement that is being signed between the government of the state of qatar and the federal republic of nigeria on investment promotion and protection these people don't even regard us these people know that there is nothing that we can offer them when it comes to investment when it comes to protection when it comes to anything so they had to say no don't come don't come here and waste money don't come here and waste our taxpayers money and tinibu and the so-called uh, federal government knew that you know we don't have this kind of agreement between the two countries that, that they just decided to visit qatar because qatar is a lovely place so that they can equally go there and waste our taxpayers money without achieving any single thing you know these are countries where the rule of law is being applied that whoever that is coming to your country will specify and be precise about the reason for, for for visiting the country if not they would reject it no matter who you are but look at what anybody uh, and our, our fg is doing they knew that they were not going to be accepted they knew that they had no business with qatar they decided to apply and request that they can go there and maybe flat around and you know, do a lot of things now the second day 
uh, this is the second reason why they rejected him. You could see the second reason. Look at it. They said, His Excellency, the Minister of Commerce and Industry, will be carrying out official missions outside the country during the upcoming visit period. You know, they don't regard Nigeria. They didn't. They did not even reschedule or say, okay, you people should put it on, on a so they, they just dismissed everything that the Minister of Commerce will not be in, in the in the country that Nigeria should not even bother applying. In fact, they are not going. They are not going to accept the request. They did not say, okay, fine, we will reschedule, or because the Minister of this is not going to come, we are going to reschedule. No, they said the Minister will not be in town, so they will not be in town. So don't come. You could imagine the flimsy, the kind of funny excuses that they are giving to Nigeria. The truth is, in general, they don't regard us, and our country is not being regarded because of what. The, the, the level of corruption because of what the, the level of rascality and the lack of rule of law in our country. You could imagine a country whereby does not recognize Nigeria in terms of investment and protection. This other person said, the, the, the third reason, the final reason they gave is, uh, they said that the state of Qatar will be hosting a web summit during the suggested period and the state's authority will be preoccupied with this event. That the, that the state authorities will be preoccupied with the, in this event. Look at a, a meaningful country that is staying in the country to do what is needed to be done. That they are going to be hosting web summit. But Tinibu is living Nigeria. Is living Nigeria that is in economic crisis and insecurity and a, you know economic hardship to go and to go to a country that is hosting a web summit. Instead of them, people have told them cut down these unnecessary travels and 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 and, and, and work about that is not actually benefiting us. None of this work about that has actually benefited us. I caught the expenses of travel because this travel now will actually you know run into billions and billions of naira. The cost of flight, accommodation, and everything plus aids and other people. Cut down these expenses and bring uh, and looking what and sort out the economic war and crisis that we're having in the country. But Bolivia and Tinubu's government don't do not want to listen to these things. You know, then when Nigerians saw how they rejected this particular Bolivia and Tinubu, this person said, "Omo, to reject a president's visit is the biggest blow ever." No way. This is just the first. This is the first of it. You think the Muslim Muslim ticket is all you need to be loved and respected by Arab countries. You they play. No rates by UAE or Saudi Arabia. No, if you like, pay 300 million for her, then no send Tinibuva. Baba. Now look at what people are saying that, of course, that having a Muslim Muslim ticket does not guarantee that the you know, Arab nations will actually accept you or welcome you every time you want to come. No, they look beyond religion. These are countries that look for competence, character, and you know, look for economic benefits and you know uh, national interest not religion unlike nigeria that puts religion and ethnicity ahead of any other thing now this other person said tinibu and apc mahmoud yakubu haruna so how many weak etc should all hide their heads in shame this is a very big embarrassment for any country that has any shame this other person said if joe tinibu that is a worker about tinibu sit back and fix his country the qatar president will automatically be his guest and this is the truth if tinibu could sit down and fix Nigeria, the qatar president will come and be his guest and there's no two ways about it but